guys, I'm finally coming on here to do an Accutane update video. So back in September is when I stopped taking Accutane. It's been about eight months now since I stopped taking Accutane. So I'm just gonna do an update on how my skin is reacting to not being on Accutane anymore and just what skincare products I'm using now, now that I'm not on Accutane. Okay, so just a little bit of a reminder. This is what my skin looked like before I started taking Accutane. And then this is what it looks like now. I just took this clip of my skin today before putting on makeup or anything. So now you can see how huge the difference is between when I before I started taking Accutane and what it looks like today. Okay, so as you can see, the acne is for the most part completely gone. I do still have more of those deeper scars. Um, and they're not gonna go away unless I get like laser treatment or something and I'm not that pressed and they're actually pretty expensive and there's not even a big chance that it'll actually help your skin improve so honestly when I went to the dermatologist she told me like straight up I shouldn't do it <laughs> because mine is not as bad as other people's that she's seen so if I were to get the laser treatment I might not see much of an improvement so I'm just gonna live with my skin looking like this and that's fine because it's definitely much better than what I had all those acne on my skin and the acne scars so it is much better than what my skin used to look like okay so just a little bit of a backstory I was on Accutane for about a year and I was on a low dose of Accutane using this low Accutane. So when I first started I was only on a 20 milligram dose so 10 milligrams twice a day and he kept me on that dose for a majority of my time on Accutane and then kind of towards the end I asked him if I could be placed on a higher dose just because I was worried about my acne coming back once I stopped taking Accutane. So then he switched me to 40 milligrams a day, so 20 milligrams twice a day. And I honestly did not stick with that. <laughs> it's really bad, but I kind of wish I did actually stick with my um, correct dosage. But during that time, my skin was much clearer and I just happened to forget for some reason. Like I oftentimes forgot to put the medicine in my purse whenever I went out. So I'd eat like lunch and eat dinner and I wouldn't have the medicine on me to take it. So I just kept forgetting like back to back several days in a row I'd forget. So eventually I just stopped taking it myself. I didn't go back to the doctor or anything. I just ended up stop taking it. I just said well I'm just going to stop doing it since I've been doing it so inconsistently. Um, so I that's why I have so much left. Like I have so many. <laughs> And there's even more inside so I don't know I kind of feel bad I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of money even though it's mad cheap here in Korea but yeah I do have a lot of Accutane left since being off of Accutane um, in like September maybe almost October ish I have not had any major breakouts I do get a few pimp pimples when it's about to be my period time or my menstruation time and it's usually just like very small pimples like around my chin around here on my forehead and kind of like on the side here and they're not that big at all I did end up getting one big pimple on my eyelid I don't know who gets pimples on their eyelids <laughs> But on my eyelid, I got a nice chunky one that hurt a little bit. So that was probably my first kind of painful, a little bit bigger pimple that I've gotten since stopping Accutane. As far as like recovering from dryness or you know any of the bad symptoms that people get from Accutane, if you followed me from the beginning of my Accutane journey, you know that I didn't experience anything that bad from taking Accutane. The worst thing that I've experienced was some dryness like around my mouth and my lips were really dry. Other than that, I didn't have any other problems. So when I got off the Accutane, it might have taken me maybe two months, two or three months for my lips to be like fully not crusty, peeling dryness anymore. <laughs> so maybe like two or three months and then after that I was perfectly fine. So let's go into what I'm using on my skin now after being off the Accutane. First I'm going to start off with the the cleanser, I'm using the Egg White Pore Foam Cleanser from Skin Food. And I'm using this because it is supposedly, it's supposed to help with like scarring and stuff like that. So hopefully it helps with mine. I don't really have as much scarring as I used to, but I still want to 
make sure you know I'm keeping my skin nice and also it's a pore foam so it's like really gonna dig up in there and <laughs> clean out your pores so I really like this I like any foaming cleanser really it just goes on so smooth and I don't really wash for a long period of time I just kind of like let it foam up real quick and then rinse it off just to make sure my skin doesn't get too dry now since um, during my period or before my period I do break out a little bit, I started to use the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. This is an old school acne product um, and this one I use it because it does have salicylic acid in it so it does help with acne and like preventing acne. I only use this every now and then right before my period or like during my period so I don't use this every day, I don't use it twice a day, I just use it. I guess kind of when I feel I need it, like when I start to see breakouts and stuff before my period. Okay, so now let's go into what I use to moisturize my skin. Before taking Accutane, I didn't really moisturize my skin that much. I really hated putting any type of lotion on my skin. I think I basically stuck to toner and like an essence and some block sometimes. So um, since being off of Accutane, I've been more focused on taking care of my skin and I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that I don't break out as easily anymore. So I'm not scared to use products on my skin so what I'm using is the Hera brand Hera is very expensive well it's like mid-grade I guess expensive and the only reason why I'm using this line is because my aunt sells it so I feel like if she wasn't selling it I would stick to just what I was doing before which is argan oil um, but she she sells um, like mid-grade skincare products and uh, yeah so she told me that I should try Hera and you know you know family <laughs> so because she's family I was like okay I'll go ahead and try it so for me the Hera skincare line has been really good to me I haven't seen any breakouts because of it or oiliness or heaviness or anything it is a very like light kind of feeling but it's also very moisturizing so I like it a lot um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue to use it once I finish this line I might just go back to using my argan oil because I really did like using argan oil um, on my skin and it just my skin really kind of absorbed it and I think it enjoyed it a lot so I don't know I may purchase this again I'll talk to my aunt about it and then um, if not then I'll just go ahead and go back to using argan oil with some block just keeping it real simple so hopefully I answered all of your questions. I've been getting a lot of questions about Accutane and if I'm still on it. I'm not on it anymore and these are the products that I'm using on my skin nowadays and so far my skin has been liking all of it. So um, if you have any additional questions that I didn't answer in this video, please comment them below. I, I love to help people, especially when it comes to acne problems and skin problems because I've been there and I completely understand the struggle, okay? I really do. <laughs> Okay, so that is all I have to say about my skin and about Accutane. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make another video unless my skin changes dramatically. I don't expect it to, but if it does, then I will make another video about it and let you guys know what I'm doing to take care of it. Alright, so you guys take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!